First at 6, the investigation continues tonight into the electrocution of a Jupiter father of four at the Harborside Place Fountain in Jupiter. As we told you exclusively last night, Nate Davenport died, saving his two young sons from that electrically charged water. Those children and two others were rushed to the hospital. Good evening, I'm Todd McDermott. And I'm Tiffany Kenny. Tonight, investigative reporter Terry Parker has more information about what happened and she hearing it from Nate's mother. Terry? That's right, Tiffany and Todd. Nate's mother tells me that her two terrified grandsons told her how their father rushed them to save them as they got shocked waiting in the fountain here at Harborside. There are no climbing signs, but an attorney tells me that Florida law requires much more than signs when it comes to protecting children from likely harm. When Nate Davenport took his three youngest children to play in the Harborside splash pad Sunday afternoon, the lure of the water in the fountain apparently drew them closer. Nate's mother describes what they told her from their hospital beds. We were in the water playing and all of a sudden we started feeling shocky. We're going, shocky, shocky. Uh-huh. We said, Dad ran in and got us. Grabbed their arms and pulled them out? I think he physically picked them up. And while Nate was able to pull his shocked sons to safety, he was electrocuted after possibly falling into the water. The call coming to fire rescue as a drowning. And um, yeah, he gave his life for his kids. The fountain right next to the splash pad warns no climbing, but attorney Spencer Coven says legally that may not be enough. And the attractive nuisance doctrine discusses the fact that a landowner must make its property safe if it has something on its property that may entice children to play. Coven says, for example, you should have a fence around your pool or trampoline so neighbor kids don't sneak in and get hurt. I mean, children generally are attracted to things that are exciting or fun for children. They're not going to sit by and read warning signs. I've seen people in there, yeah. Jupiter High School student Andrew Schumacher says kids often climb into the fountain. He was there Sunday tossing a football when he and his friend both put a foot in the water and felt the current. He was like, oh, it's shocking. Like, no, it didn't. Like, how would it shock you? So I put my foot in and then I felt like a little tingle on my feet. I put my foot out. I didn't think anything of it at the time. But just 20 minutes later, Nate Davenport, his two sons and two others were rushed to trauma units. Nate didn't make it. It's just tragic. I mean, you know, anyone that has children here in Palm Beach County should be concerned. In a new statement, Harborside Place says we are heartbroken over this tragic and unexpected loss and continue to mourn with the rest of the Jupiter community. Our thoughts and prayers remain with the family during this challenging time. And I have just learned that Nate's two sons, age 8 and 11, have been released from the hospital and are home with their mom and two other siblings. We're going to continue to follow the investigation and the story. Live in Jupiter, Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.